independence. Well, joining me on the phone is a British Labour MP, Peter Kilfoyle. Uh, Peter, I spoke to uh, the deputy at the state Duma in Moscow 24 hours ago. He expected a civil war in Ukraine, or at least he was worried about it. Uh, what is your foreign secretary doing in Ukraine? Well, that's a very good question. I'm one of those uh, uh, who feels it's the wrong thing to do right now to be going to uh, the likes of Ukraine and Georgia and talking about NATO membership. It, it requires a period of, 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 of calm and rational consideration rather than what might be seen as provocative by one side or the other. And he's been warning uh, President Medvedev not to start a cold war. Does, does he realize that Georgia, uh, and backed by the U.S. and Israel, bombed South Ossetia, killing thousands of people? Well, I mean, he, I'm, I'm sure he's fully aware of the fact that the initial uh, came by the Georgians on the South Ossetian capital. But of course, um, the fact that he's not he's, he's not um, willing to recognise that shows a degree of of uh, knee jerk uh, response to the American agenda rather than striking an independent agenda, which is something I would have hoped he would have done, but unfortunately he hasn't done this, and he's making the same kind of noises that are coming out of Washington. It's the usual kind of um, you know. Uh, a master and servant approach, which is sadly taken far too often by British ministers. In uh, his speech uh, in Ukraine, uh, Miliband compared Russia's attack, uh, some would say defense, uh, to the Prague Spring of 1968. Um, I mean, well, af after the murder of Litvinenko, is it just a British politician's just basically screaming? I think it's, uh, I mean, the Litvinenko was just part of the of, of the mood music behind all of this, I think it's 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 the fact the 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 the, the British government, the American government, find themselves in a bind, given what happened in Kosovo. But there, the argument was that there was an intervention on humanitarian uh, grounds. It was opposed, obviously, by the Serbians, uh, and it was opposed by the Russians. Now you've got the reverse situation with South Ossetia, and it's very very difficult uh, for the, for the West to counter the logic of that argument. And what does the ruling Labour Party in Britain think of uh, what David Miliband is up to? Because uh, some say he might be the next Prime Minister. Uh, I doubt that very, very much indeed. But having said that, uh, I do think that there will be concerns. In a couple of weeks' time, we have the annual conference. And uh, I think there will be uh, expressions of, 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 of opposition going from regret to outrage at the British position here. It has overtones of the British position over the Israeli invasion of Lebanon, whereby um, we seemed very limply to follow on from an American lead, which, which was leading nowhere, frankly. And uh, I think that will upset quite a, a lot of members of the Labour Party when we have our annual conference. Peter Kilfoyle, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.